Now the entire state of Utah under a stay safe, stay home directive from the governor and residents in Salt Lake, Summit and Wasatch counties all have orders to stay home. The pandemic has presented unique challenges for the 2020 census here to break that down and how the census is adapting and why it's important for every Utah to participate is Evan Curtis. He is the state planning coordinator for the Utah governor's office of uh, management and budget. We appreciate having you with us. Let's get right into it. What changes should we expect with the census because of what's happening with the coronavirus? Well, the biggest changes are going to be in rural Utah. Uh, if you're in an area with a P.O. box, uh, you would have received your invitation to participate in the census by now. Unfortunately, that's been delayed because of the coronavirus and uh, field operations have been delayed a little bit. Um, but the good news is you can still go online right now and you can still respond to the census. You don't need to wait until you receive that invitation. Uh, so if you go to my2020census.gov, uh, you can participate no matter where you're at. And what are other additional impacts we should keep in mind that the uh, COVID-19 team could have on the census? Yeah, another unique uh, challenge that we're facing is people aren't where they would normally be. And of course, that can impact uh, how our state is counted. Uh, for instance, college students typically would be on campus right now during the census. Uh, census day is April 1st, and normally all of our college students are at their, at their dorms or they're on off-campus housing. Unfortunately, because of the coronavirus, many of our students have returned home, and we don't want that to mess up the counts. What the Census Bureau is asking that we do is have those college students who would be in uh, college, in their college housing uh, right now, but for the coronavirus, to be counted at their uh, college mm -hmm. residences. And so that's going to be a big change and we need to get the word out on that. Okay, yeah, these are these times are impacting uh, our lives in many different ways. You talked about Census Day being April 1st. That's coming up quick. But when is the census available and who should be counted? Yeah, it's available now. Uh, census Day is April 1st, so that's the point in time uh, that we're trying to count. We want to know where you're at on April 1st. Um, but because of the coronavirus, uh, that's another great question is the timelines have been uh, extended a little bit. There have been some delays, uh, but like I say, for most residents, that's not going to have any impact. You can go online now. You should take it, you should take it right now uh, and not worry about any of those delays. Okay, so we, we're seeing a lot of parts of our lives being postponed and pushed off. The census is going on. That's because it's really important. Talk about why the census matters to us here in the state of Utah. Yeah, the census is really important uh, for the state of Utah and for our, each of our communities for really three main reasons. And the first is funding. We get a lot of federal funding into the state and we also distribute our state funding uh, based largely off of census counts. Anytime you're, you're basing any funding decisions based on a population or demographic number, you're, you're typically referring back in some way or another to the census. And so it's very important that we get those numbers right for funding. Uh, the second reason is political representation. Uh, so uh, from everything I've seen, we're not likely to get another congressional seat, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't impact our uh, political representation. Utah has been the fastest growing state in the nation over the past 10 years. And so we're going to see a lot of changes in our legislative seats, for instance, uh, and how that's distributed. Uh, but it impacts every uh, political office, clear down to our local uh, community councils and our school districts as well. And then the third is planning and uh, economic development. Uh, when we're, we're planning things for our community, whether it's uh, transportation, whether it's uh, public safety and fire uh, facilities, we're using population data and that all comes from the census and we've got to make sure we get it right. It can also have an economic impact for us here in the state of Utah. Talk to us about how that happens. Sure, and I think the biggest thing is going to be again, the billions of dollars of, of uh, public funding dollars that are distributed based on uh, census counts. Uh, but businesses are also using census data when they're determining where to locate their businesses. Uh, so it has an impact uh, throughout many areas of our economy. And you know, this has been uh, going on for a while now. Talk about how Utah is doing so far in comparison to other states across the country. Yeah, so far the good news is uh, we're the best in the West. Uh, we're actually leading uh, the, the charge in uh, all of the Western states. We're at about 38.6%, just slightly ahead of Idaho and a few other states. Um, the one challenge, as I mentioned, is uh, some of our counties are, are falling behind because they're waiting for their uh, invitation to come in our rural areas. And so uh, some of our counties have less than 1% who have responded. And so again, we need to get the word out. We, we need to keep going. Uh, we want to have everybody counted by April 1st. And so if you haven't taken the census yet, uh, we want to make sure you go to my2020census.gov and take the census. Okay, uh, that's what I wanted to get into next is it's pretty simple to go do. You just do it right online. Sure. It's right online. There's also an option uh, to go on and uh, re 
take it on the phone as well if, if that's easier for you. Uh, but we are encouraging an online response. It's only seven questions. It takes a few minutes, uh, mm -hmm. depending on how many members uh, are in your household. And we do want every member of your household to be counted, uh, whether re they're related to you or not. Uh, so make sure you count the children. If there are grandparents living with you, uh, they all need to be counted, anyone who's at that address. And I know I've been contacted via mail at my home a couple times, you know, to give me the information that it's coming up and, and how to uh, go do that. Uh, if we don't do it online, that's when people could potentially come knocking on our door, correct? Right. That's exactly what will happen. Uh, but again, that's one of the big unknowns because of the coronavirus. Our field operations have been uh, pushed back a little bit. Uh, the Census Bureau is taking an incremental approach. And so they're kind of taking things a, a few weeks at a time, uh, like the rest of the world. Uh, but th there's a chance it could be pushed back several weeks. And so that's why we do want to make sure if you're able to go online right now and take it, uh, go ahead and get it done so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, Evan Curtis, great information for us tonight. Again, more information online. Uh, give us that website one more time. All your questions can be answered there as well. Yeah, to find more information, go to census2020.utah.gov. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate having you with us tonight. Great. Thank you.